the second front was now the subject of practically every conversation one overheard. In the Southern's workshops, they didn't just talk about it. There, great preparations for the Allied invasion of Europe were taking place. Here are some of the MLCs, motor lighter craft, in the course of construction. These craft were intended primarily for carrying tanks. Heavy armor plate was a notable feature of these vessels, particularly on the steersman's shelter, the nerve center in which was located the steering gear, radio, and other important gadgets. Day by day, the building of the MLCs progressed noticeably. These craft were very satisfactory things to work on, as they so forcefully suggested the aggressive power quite in keeping with their intended function. One of their more interesting features was the formidable-looking front door. Well, the front door, if you can use such a term, in connection with such a war machine. At any rate, a door which could be let down, rather like a drawbridge, to enable the tanks carried inside the vessel to run out under their own power when the invasion beach was reached. The very size of these MLCs made their removal from their birthplace a matter of careful calculation and even more careful execution. As a point of interest, the doors of this particular shop where the vessel was made had to be specially enlarged to afford a comfortable exit. Meticulous road transport organization was necessary for the conveyance of the motor lighter craft from the shops at Eastleigh to Southampton docks. As these craft were an out-of-gauge load, this journey could not be covered by rail. En route to Southampton, special traffic police cleared the way before them. All other traffic was parked on the roadside to give the MLCs a free and unhindered passage. On arrival at the dock gates, the Southern Railway Southampton staff took over the job of transferring the craft from the lorries across the quays to the river. Shearlegs assisted in the launching, the first real test of the workshop people's skill at boat building. Back at Eastleigh, a last look round the boat building section revealed one more important craft which should be mentioned, the LCSM short for Landing Craft Support Medium. These big boats were designed to cover our invasion troops as they landed from their LCPs. And for this purpose, they were made additionally strong. The steel plating which covered them was a great help in that connection. The high elevation of their guns enabled them to engage enemy planes as well as ground targets. There goes a helpful contribution to the invasion fleet with best wishes from the Eastleigh shops. Few people before have had this chance of a peep behind the scenes and those workers who did so much to maintain the lines behind the lines. Their reward came with the invasion, that crowning onslaught to which their efforts had contributed so enormously.